Ford Bronco Sport is part of the Bronco family, but it's not quite the same as the full-size Bronco. Think of it as a smaller, more accessible version, borrowing some of the rugged styling and off-road credibility of the larger Bronco. But with its compact design, it's clearly meant to appeal to a broader audience, especially those who want a mix of adventure and everyday practicality. This raises the question, can the Bronco Sport live up to the Bronco name? Enter the 2025 Ford Bronco Sport Sasquatch, here to prove that it can. While the full-size Bronco is a dedicated off-roader, often compared to the Jeep Wrangler with its body-on-frame construction from the Ford Ranger, the Bronco Sport takes a different approach. It's built on the unibody platform of the Ford Escape, which prioritizes fuel efficiency and a smoother, more car-like ride, making it more suitable for city driving. For the 2025 model year, every Bronco Sport comes standard with four-wheel drive and an eight-speed automatic transmission. It's available in five trim levels with two engine options, a 1.5-liter three-cylinder producing 180 horsepower and 200 lbft of torque, and a more powerful 2.0-liter four-cylinder delivering 238 horsepower and 277 lbft of torque. The Sasquatch off-road package, previously exclusive to the larger Bronco, is now an option for the top-tier Outer Banks and Badlands trims of the Bronco Sport in 2025. This package includes off-road enhancements like a twin-clutch rear-drive unit, a locking rear differential, steel underbody protection, Bilstein rear shocks, and 29-inch all-terrain tires. These upgrades provide the Bronco Sport Sasquatch with impressive off-road capabilities, such as 8.3 inches of front suspension travel and 9.0 inches in the rear. It can also ford water up to 23.6 inches deep, which is quite respectable when compared to the larger Bronco's maximum wading depth of 33.5 inches. Ford has yet to reveal the cost of the Sasquatch package for the Bronco Sport or the pricing for the 2025 Bronco Sport lineup. For reference, in 2024, the base price for the Bronco Sport Outer Banks starts at $35,500 while the Bronco Sport Badlands is priced around $40,000. On the larger Bronco Badlands, the Sasquatch package adds at least $5,000, so we can expect a similar price range for the Bronco Sport Sasquatch. The 2025 Bronco Sport Sasquatch won't hit dealerships until early next year, but Ford gave us a sneak peek with a 15-minute test drive on its new off-road course in Maryville, Tennessee. Though we drove pre-production models on a track designed by Ford, Featuring dirt, mud, dips, and 20-degree tilts, the Sasquatch still showed off its impressive capabilities. The Bronco Sport Sasquatch comes with seven drive modes. Normal, Eco, Sport, Slippery, Off-Road, Rally, and Rock Crawl. During our brief drive, we primarily used Off-Road mode with brief tests of Rock Crawl and Rally. Rock Crawl locks the differential for enhanced traction. The twin-clutch rear-drive unit features two clutch packs, each controlling a rear wheel independently. This allows one wheel to drive the car when necessary and also functions as a locking differential, which is common in serious off-road vehicles. Locking differentials move both wheels in unison, unlike an open differential, which lets the wheel with the least resistance spin freely. In off-road mode, the Sasquatch adjusts the throttle response for better control over rough terrain, while rally mode makes the throttle more responsive for quicker acceleration. The Sasquatch's suspension system absorbed the bumps in off-road mode, keeping the ride smooth despite the uneven ground. I could feel the terrain in my legs, but it didn't cause head-rattling discomfort. The ride remained surprisingly comfortable, even when the ground wasn't. The car also had trail control, like cruise control, but for off-roading and one-pedal driving, which are both meant to make crawling speeds less taxing by removing the need to undulate both pedals. Trail control hilariously starts at one mile per hour, and one-pedal driving involves only using the accelerator to speed up and slow down the car. As soon as you lift your foot off, the car will apply the brakes. And in these early models, the auto braking felt like a stomp. I didn't mind how strong it was, but when I asked, Ford didn't say whether the final production one-pedal braking would be stronger, the same, or weaker. The Bronco Sport Sasquatch had handy features like bash plates on the front and rear of the car, off-road cameras to show the terrain, 
recovery points on all four corners if you get stuck while off-roading, and handles near the side mirrors that Ford says are placed to avoid rubbing the paint with tie-down straps. But my favorite part was the gauge cluster. The Bronco Sport Sasquatch had a display in off-road mode that showed the angle of the car. So when I drove it on a big bump or dip, I could see just how tilted I was. I hit 20 degrees on a mud rut, and it's a fun way to interact with the terrain. When you go home, you don't just get to tell your friends you had your car sideways in a rut. You get to tell them you had it 20 degrees sideways. That's way cooler. I didn't have enough time in the Sasquatch to find problems with its driving, and I didn't get to take it on the road, the place it'll likely spend most of its time. But I did notice pain points inside. I sat in a Bronco Sport Badlands with a light gray interior, and all I could think about was mud. The Badlands had a light, cloth headliner that looked ready to absorb stains, and the seats had a light-colored cloth section around the shoulder blades that looked the same. The Big Bronco can also be bought with a marine-grade vinyl interior and interior water drainage system, but the Baby Bronco doesn't get that treatment, yet at least. But even without all of the Big Bronco's off-road features, the Bronco Sport Sasquatch is capable. It can do all the things a normal person wants it to, and it can also hang on the off-road course. The saddest part about the Big Bronco, to me, is how many people will buy it and never use it for the things it's so good at. They'll drive it to school or the grocery store, letting its incredible off-road capabilities go unused and unacknowledged. The Bronco Sport Sasquatch is far more than enough for the average buyer. And after a few minutes in the car, it feels like it may even be enough for the experienced off-roader. The Bronco Sport has always been marketed as the baby Bronco, and the Sasquatch feels ready to defend that reputation. In mud, ruts, water, or anywhere else you want to test it. The 2025 Ford Bronco Sport carries forward its rugged and adventurous design, clearly influenced by its larger sibling, the full-size Bronco. Its boxy shape, upright stance, and distinctive front grille give it a bold, off-road ready look, while its compact size makes it versatile for urban driving. With high ground clearance, short overhangs, and protective cladding, the Bronco Sport emphasizes durability and capability. Inside, the design is both practical and modern, with durable materials and clever storage solutions, such as mall straps on the seats and a rubberized cargo floor. The cabin features an intuitive layout, blending rugged style with comfort, ensuring it can handle both daily commutes and weekend adventures. In terms of technology, the 2025 Bronco Sport is equipped with Ford's latest SYNC 4 infotainment system, offering a user-friendly, 